The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show where we're learning about a 50 year asphalt shingle option for your home. We'll begin by meeting with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction as he takes us through the exterior remodeling and roof replacement of this rural home. Next we'll take a closer look at the professional installation of the roofing components. And we'll finish up today's program meeting with Helene Hardy Pierce, a GAF technical advisor, to help explain the new warranties being offered by roofing manufacturers. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started after these messages. Sometimes it's difficult to see just how bad roof shingles actually are when you're looking at them from the ground. They can look okay, but oftentimes upon closer inspection, there can be a lot more damage and potential for a leak. So let's begin today's show with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction as he takes us through the assessment of this exterior remodeling project. Oh Andy, I remember this home. We were here about, what, three years ago and we were replacing some windows? Yep, we replaced that window, some windows in the back. Uh, this is a house uh, homeowners have had us out numerous times. We've uh, been working our way from the inside. We replaced all the windows. The whole inside has gone through a complete remodel, but we're out here today checking out the roof. And we're going to get into that re-roofing process shortly, but when you look at doing projects for a homeowner, it's okay for the homeowner to kind of plan it out over a number of years? Oh, absolutely. We sit down with people all the time and we plan out a project. You got phase one, phase two, phase three, up to phase 99. Sure, helps with the budget. And that's the advantage of working with one contractor, one stop, one call. You can know everything's going to get done at your leisure, at your schedule, and work within your budget. So when it comes to re-roofing a house, whether it's an older home like this or a relatively new home, what should a homeowner be looking at to know if they need a new roof? Well, there's some real telltale signs that your roof is going bad. And you know, one in this house, the homeowners had a leak during the wintertime on an ice dam here, so they, they knew the roof was near replaced. But if we step around front here, you're really going to notice these shingles are really starting to show their age. Stu, as you can see here, it doesn't take an expert to notice that there's something wrong with this roof. What <laughs> one look at that. Look at the way that roof is talking to us. It's all curled up. Yeah, you know. The homeowners notice some granules on the ground, especially on the downspouts where the downspouts empty the water. They just notice more and more granules. Well, those granules, that's the true UV protecting on the shingle. Once you get rid of those, sun is able to penetrate that and it starts to curl up the shingle. Shingles became brittle and they started noticing whole chunks of shingles coming down, not just the granules. So from a homeowner's standpoint, they should be looking at their roof, seeing if it, uh -huh. you know, is starting to talk to them, starting to curl up. But even looking down at the ground, at the downspouts, there can be some telltale signs if there's a lot of granules coming down that your roof might need inspecting at least, if not full replacement. Yeah, this one was, as you can see, relatively easy to know that it's time for a new roof. One, they had the leak. Two, the shingles look like this. But every homeowner should inspect their roof every year. And it's very, very easy. Look at your downspouts, like you said, see, make sure there's any granules. And what I always tell people, lean a ladder up at a smaller part of your roof get up and you can go up there with a pair of binoculars and actually get a closer inspection of shingles. Make sure that nothing's loose, nothing's flapping in the wind, there's not shingles missing because those are things you want to get taken care of before a nice midwestern winter that we're going to have again this year. Sure, and, and you don't necessarily have to let it get this bad before no. you get it replaced. No, I've been working with these people as you know for three, four years so we always knew that the roof was going to have to go. So we've been looking at it and putting it off about as far as we can and finally we're getting it done and uh, I think it's going to people well, here are going to be very that's happy. Good. It helps with the budgeting process. You know it's going to need to be done, but hey, you were able to milk another two, three years out of it. And yep. so that helps. A question I have for you is as I look at that, right on the extreme edges, the shingles don't look so bad, but in the center, they are absolutely horrible. Why is that? 
Well, as you know, on the edges of the roof, it's going to be a lot cooler. And this house has some insulation and ventilation issues. There's only an R28 in the attic right now. We're going to crank that up, blow in fiberglass to up to an R50, and then we're going to make sure that the ventilation is adequate. So our goal in the summertime and in the wintertime is to make sure that attic space is the same temperature on the inside as it is outside, so we don't have to worry about ice dams, and most importantly, longevity of the shingles. Well, Andy, this is such an impressive example. Let's go up there and take a closer look at exactly what those shingles look like. All righty. Holy cow, Andy, these have got to be the worst looking shingles I've ever seen. Yeah, these are right up there, that's for sure. This is just incredible. Look at, they're just deteriorating. Why is that so bad here compared to up on the roof? Well, this is a perfect example of no ventilation. That's just an example of poor ventilation. Okay, so this is what they would call a hot roof? Yeah, this is a hot roof. There's no ventilation whatsoever. And so for our viewers out there that aren't familiar with that, th there is some insulation underneath here, but it's not enough. And so the heat in the wintertime is coming through yep. and really causing the um, degradation of the shingles themselves. But you're going to be able to remedy this problem? Yes, we are. Uh, what we're going to do is after removing uh, all of this existing uh, roofing, what we're going to do is to put down two inches of foam over the top of the actual roof decking. And then we're going to put down all new decking. So we're going to create a kind of a false roof. you got your roof decking, foam, roof decking, and over the top of that, we're going to put our ice and water shield in. And that's going to take care of it. They'll never have to worry about this situation again. You'll never have to worry about the shingles deteriorating to a point like this ever again. Well, you brought up ice and water shield. That's only one of the many components to make up a modern roof. It's one piece of the puzzle to make up the entire roof system. It's the underlayment that we use. We use on this particular roof the fiberglass integrated shingle mate underlayment. It's not like your regular felt. There's different ventings that go in. This house you got the ridge vent, different types of flashing. You got the flashing kit that goes on the skylight, the pipe flashing, the chimney flashing. On the back side where the addition meets the house, you got the step flashing. And you know the inspector is going to want to see digital photos of the underlayment of the house so he can inspect it and make sure it's done properly. You know, it's just not something you get together with the weekend warriors and try to crack out. There's a lot of things that go into a roof nowadays and you have to make it sure, one, that it doesn't leak, two, to pass the inspection. Sure, and well, ultimately it's for the homeowner's benefit because when you think of the investment that the roof is protecting, why would you want to skimp on it? You wouldn't. At least in my case, there's no way. I want the ultimate peace of mind. I'm going to hire a professional who knows how to do it. And speaking of the components, the most visual one, the shingles themselves. What did they opt for? On this particular project, we're putting on the GIF Elk Lifetime Grand Canyon Shingle. It's a different weave pattern shingle, and you'll see that, and it's a lot thicker of a shingle. It's about twice as thick as the shingle they have on here right now, so it's going to be quite the difference. Stay tuned. We'll be looking at the installation of the roofing components next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler.